In this video, I'm going to solve one question uh, from the topic areas related to circle. And the question says there is a round table cover has six equal designs. So you can see the design in the figure. These are the designs, right? Not the whole of it. And these designs are equal. That means these are identical or congruent figures. And therefore, in order to find the area of six such design, we may find the area of one and then multiply with six. But then we have to find the area of this whole figure or the whole design. If the radius of this cover is 28, that means we, have, we know the radius. Let's say if I join the center, say assume I took this as the center and I joined with this, right? This being the radius. As from your previous experience, you know that in such a case, there is a sector, so I should also write this. And this being the center of the circle, even if it is not appearing up to the scale, and I'm still writing, this is 28 each, that is uh, area of the, uh, that is the radius of the circle in centimeter. What we need to is to find the cost of making at the rate of rupees 0 0.35 per centimeter square. So we don't need any change in uh, conversions as it as we are going to find the area in centimeter square and the rate is also is given in centimeter square. Further, we should uh, also notice that here the value of root three is given as one point three. So need we don't shouldn't take one point seven three two or seven one point seven three. Now, as I said, that since in order to get the area, uh, we have to find the area of whole design, but they are all equal. So we'll simply be calculating the area of one design and we'll multiply by six. That will give the area of this whole design. Now, from this figure, you can see that here, the design is in the shape of a segment. And you know that an area of a segment, if I, so you say, if uh, talking about area of a segment, for an area of a segment, it is the area of the sector minus area of the triangle. Like if I have to get the area of this segment, we use the formula area of this whole sector. That means we have the area of this whole sector from which we subtract the area of this triangle. That gives us the area of this segment. That is what we are going to apply here. Now, if I name this figure as O and this as A and say this as B, we can see that from this sector, if you subtract the area of this triangle, we should get the area of the segment. Now, so I've written area of uh, segment formula, which is area of sector minus area of triangle. Now, if you are, uh, if you remember the formula for getting the area of the sector, it is theta. That is, this is the theta, which is the central angle, theta over 360 into pi r square. Now, first we need to find the theta. As you must, be uh, knowing that these are regular, these are all uh, equal. So therefore, this whole angle is 360 and these are equal sides of this uh, hexagon. So we can say that here each angle will be equal, right? So this angle will be equal to this is equal to this. Therefore, this is equal to this. So all angles are equal. So we can say here the theta can be determined as theta can be determined as 360 over 6. That should be equal to 60 degree. So we got uh, the angle or the central angle for one of the sector as 60 degree. So let's write down theta as 60 degree. That you can do so the working also. Now to get the area of the segment, as I said, it should be area of the sector minus area of the triangle. Now let's talk about this triangle. You should know that... Uh, and an isosceles triangle, right? An isosceles triangle whose vertex angle is 60 degree is actually an equilateral triangle. So this is an equilateral triangle. So we'll be writing the values, area of the sector, area of the sector is theta over 360 minus, let me write down the formula. This is theta over 360 into pi r square minus area of the triangle, which is an equilateral triangle is root three over four a square. Well, you should know here the radius and this side are coinciding, right? This a and r are coinciding as this is r. 
So this is the reason why I'm not writing A instead I'm writing R as they are coinciding. That is root 3 over 4 R square. As of now, to simplify the working, I can take R square as common and place the value. So theta here is 60. So I can write this angle theta as 60 over 360 into pi, which is 22 over 7 minus root 3, whose value is mentioned as 1.7 over 4, as we got. And we can also place the value of R in the next step. So I'm placing R as 28 into 28 and that multiplied by, I can reduce it first. Let's say this is divisible by one and six times and then two 11 times, two three times. So you've got this value as 11 over, this is 11 over 21 minus 1.7 over 4. In the next part, we will take LCM. So if I take LCM, what we are going to do? First, I'm going to multiply this 28. So it's 28, uh, 28 square, right? And 28 square is 784. For this part, I'm going to take LCM. The LCM is 84. This is 4 times, so 44. And then we'll multiply 1.7 with 21. So if you multiply, we are going to get 35.7. So let's include in a bracket. Now in the final working, I'm writing this. This is 784 calculation, a bit complicated. And 44 minus 35.7, that will be 8.3. That is over 84. Now these can be reduced. So let's first arrange this at some different place and then we'll continue to work on the final part of this. Now this 84 is divisible and we can reduce it. I'm reducing with uh, say it's 84 and 784 can be reduced. I'll let uh, this be only as of now as the area as we'll be reducing in the final part. Further, what I can see that uh, we got the area of one design, but there are six such designs and we have to also find the cost. So we can say that the total cost, total cost is going to be first time multiplied with six as there are six design and then multiplying with the rate. So altogether you can write in a single ste step, rate is 0 0.35 rupees, right? So this is 35 over 100, that multiplied by six, and this is 784 into 8.3 over 84. So let's understand once again, this is what the area of one design, right? The one which is written with yellow is the area of one design. And then we'll reduce this finally to get the final answer and the cost will come in rupees. See, uh, this is divisible by five, seven times, five, 20 times. We can uh, further reduce it. This is by seven, one times, two times. And this is divisible by seven, one times, one times and two times. Further. This is uh, 112 is divisible by, let's say if I divide it by 3, right? No, that will be divisible by 2 only. So this is 2, 6 times, and this is 2, 56 times. Now we have more numbers to reduce. I can reduce it again further. That is by Two, so this is 28, well, this will give you three. Three, I can divide this with two, two times, and this is two one times and two 10 times. As I said, the working has some bigger calculations. So at the end we got it, and this is what we got as seven into 28 into 8.3, and that divided by 10 whatever it comes, 
should be the final answer in rupees. Right, so over here, uh, we can use, uh, as of now, I'm using calculator, and I got this final answer as 162.68. So in the examination, what you can do, you simply multiply and do long division in order to get the final answer. So we got this as the final answer in rupees. So we, we first calculated the area of one segment. Till here, we got the area of one segment. And as I told you, these are identical designs. So we will be finding, we'll be multiplying with, I multiplied with, uh, multiplied with six. And then the rate was also given. So I multiplied with the rate, which was uh, 0 0.35. And this gives us the cost here. 